Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cowboy Bop Show. Remember, first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's not just about knives, it's about life. Hey, if you like knives, collecting knives, uh, if you like, you know, fedoras, hats, hey, if you like movie homages, if you like cowboy boots and all sorts of boots, you're at the right place. Anyway, welcome. Don't forget to hit the sub button. Uh, today, we're here to talk about uh, a knife that I received about a month or two ago. This ain't it. This is a quick shout out to my very first ever uh, creation. This is the Cowboy Combat Knife, available now on Etsy, selling like hotcakes. And one of my fellow YouTubers, Tin Man Collections, I'll leave you the link to one of his videos of his artwork. He was so cool and kind enough to paint this for me. The Cowboy Combat Knife knife by Jeffrey Taylor now this has been hanging up in my daughter's bedroom my granddaughter's bedroom so she had to loan it to me for the video all right brother I'm so grateful that you have done this for me guys go over and show your support tell him cowboy sent you I'll leave you the link to his video all right if you can do one kind deed today, go over and say hello to Tin Man Collections. All right? And if you can do two kind things today, sub to my channel. All right. I'll cherish this always, my friend. All right? I love it. Absolutely love it. But why are we here today? We are here to talk about the Zeng Zhang knife. Did I say that right? Zeng, Sheng. Let's just double check here. I will cherish this always. Zeng, Sheng. Okay, now, everything happens for a reason. I got this a couple months ago for less than $50 on Amazon. And I was going to do a review and send everybody over there to jump on this for less than 50 bucks. Well, everything happens for a reason. Glad I waited because now they're selling for about $80. All right, so I'm hoping the price comes down again. I haven't used it. Um, all I know is it's beautiful. I'm a sucker for stacked leather handles. So let's just do a quick once over full review. All right, first of all, it comes in a really nice presentation. Okay, I love this box. I mean, they, they did a great job with this. The leather hits you like a ton of bricks because of the leather sheet. Now, I want to talk about some of the reviews I've seen, I've read on Amazon. It's basically averaging four out of five stars. There's a lot of complaints about this chemical smell. Uh, well, I don't know, call me crazy, but I think that's the sheath, all right? That is the leather sheath. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's decent. Uh, it's a hell of a lot better than some of the sheaths I've seen in the past. But, um, I'm smelling the sheath. Am I smelling the knife? Look at this beauty. I mean, if anything, I think I'm smelling the sheath. So that was my first thing I wanted to talk about, was just the odor. I believe it's the leather sheath and how they treated it. The second thing is, there was a couple of pet peeves about how uh, this wasn't exactly, you know, finished properly, or this wasn't exactly, you know, flush. Guys gotta keep in mind, this is a handmade knife. And a hand hammered, so, let me take this little thing off of here. So, you are going to probably find 
you know, a blemish or two. Me, on the other hand, I got bad eyes, but I don't see nothing. I mean, this thing looks pretty awesome. Let's talk about the spec, shall we? What we got here is uh, 420 HC, right? Which is a decent steel. And, you know, easily sharpened and probably dulls easily. Uh, let's see, they call it full tang. Now, I don't know about that. I'd have to take it apart to verify. I don't think it's a full tang unless they want to call it a full hidden tang, right? There is a slight difference, but usually when you have a handle, you know, closed off like that, you're probably getting a rat tail or maybe a little bigger. It's kind of hard to tell, but it feels great, ergonomically correct with these nice, sweet stacked leather spacers and these uh, white and black on the ends. Nickel uh, pommel, um, seems pretty strong. I mean, again, I paid like, you know, 48 for this and now it's like 70. And uh, I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe it'll come down. But here's the thing, I already have another knife by Zhang Sheng. It's a folder that I use in my kitchen. I should have brought that out. That thing's wicked, right? It's wicked. I use it to like cut all the meat and carrots and pears and fruit for the grandkids. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to do a review on that. I never did a review. Anyway, overall, about 11 and a half inches overall. With a 4.9 millimeter uh, spine. The blade is just about six and a half inches, maybe a tad over, with a six inch cutting edge. Um, I love the half guard, right? And I don't know, there's, there's a choil here, but I barely, and I got, I got medium sized hands, so I don't know if I'd be using that. It's cutting it close, but it's in there. But sharpness out of the box, Razor. All right, let's do a little uh, demonstration here and there. Let me put this out of the way because it's about to get nasty. One second, guys. Guys, still with me? All right, I'm gonna cut this. That's really, that's really awesome, huh? Let's see here. Let's check the edge, shall we? Um, let's do this. It's a little big. All right. Pardon my workbench here but I just want to test the edge to see how it holds up. Give it like 10, 20, 30 wax, and we'll do another paper test just to see how this edge holds up. I wish there was a lanyard hole, but there isn't. So I can wrap it around the wrist. It's going through there nice, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the other side. fine kindling I'm getting already. Just want to just keep a whacking, checking the edge. So far, I'm really liking it. This is that 420 HC steel. 
Is that enough wax? Seems razor sharp, guys. I don't know if anybody else out there is gonna, you know, really put theirs through the ringer like this. I mean, treat knives like knives. What I'm doing, I really don't recommend. That's what an axe is for. But we just want to do an edge test. Remember, this is handmade. Now we looking. No dings nor dangs, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come closer at the end, I promise. <laughs> I have no complaints. Let's do a quick little uh, water test. I call it a full review, but you know, the basics. The basics. Am I in? I think I'm in focus. Let's do another one. That one over well. And we'll check the edge one more time. That one over well. Swampy over here. Look at that. My eyes playing tricks on me. Zeng Sheng. A lot of people don't like the names written on the blades, but you might be able to buff that out if it really bothers you. But, um, hey guys, I really like this. So, I'm glad I waited till now to do this. It's not under 50. It's definitely like 79, 80. But, hey, keep an eye out on it. All right, and they have other products um, that are just as awesome as this too, seriously. So, um, all right, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'll leave you the link. Go over to Tin Man Collections and tell them Cowboy Seabop sent you. All right? Hit that sub button for both of us, if you can be so kind. All right. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.